Conley with the ball for Minnesota. They trail by three. And for the Mavericks, Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Exum in at the three. Towns takes a lot of pride in knocking down threes. He's as gifted a shooter as we have at the center position. And for the Timberwolves, inside we got Towns and Gobert. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. And it's Conley in at the point. Exum passes to Irving. Just five on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Washington. And some solid defense from Towns. Minnesota has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. Yeah, and you know, when Edwards is aggressive, I think it forces defenders to try to get physical back. And when he's close to the rim, he usually is able to draw the foul as a result. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. And he makes both free throws. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Doncic passes to Washington. And here's Gafford. And here is Irving. To the wing on the left. Here's Exum. Misses the three. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's McDaniels. Pass to Towns. Outside McDaniels. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Here's Towns. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got seven rebounds in the game. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Doncic down the lane. And Doncic with the jam. It always seems like Doncic is playing with something to prove. Well, I'll tell you what, he's proving plenty tonight. Irving against Edwards. Pass to Towns. From downtown. The Timberwolves again can't hit. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. One shot. misses. A dependable stretch for Washington is also somebody who continues to look to improve every year in the league. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. And he's going for the lob! And the dunk by Gafford! <laughs> Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game over. Edwards can't hit. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. And here's Doncic outside from way back there. Luka! Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. And Minnesota calls time here. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. He just continues to deal damage inside. They've got to figure a way to slow him down.
And so Conley will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Seven-point differential. Pass to Edwards. Back to Towns. And it's Towns with the power finish. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. Yeah, Coach, no doubt, wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Doncic, 27 points for him. Pass to Gafford. Doncic outside, five to shoot. Off target with the three. Minnesota's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Now Edwards. Now here's Conley, guarded by Doncic. against Doncic. The shot by Conley. No good. The Mavericks leading. Washington passes to Exum. It's blocked by Gobert. Love the way Gobert goes after shots. He blocks quite a few and alters many more. For Minnesota, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. It's Edwards with a drive. The kick out to Conley. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Conley's got his second basket on the night. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Woo. Washington finds Doncic. Back to Washington. Doncic against Conley. Beyond the arc. Oh, Luca with a deep one. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. The Timberwolves have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Doncic against Conley. Pass to Towns. Launches a three. Doncic grabs the miss. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Four, three with a rebound. The Timberwolves trail. McDaniels with it. Gafford picks him up. McDaniels passes to Conley. Pass to Gobert. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Exum's got five rebounds tonight. Right side Irving. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Mavericks. The way they've overwhelmed the defense by drawing a ton of fouls. And more importantly than drawing the fouls, they've been converting at the free-throw line. We also got to highlight how on fire they've been from three-point land. They've continued to capitalize from beyond the arc in this one.
Kyrie Irving special. I mean, as skilled a player as you'll ever see when it comes to handling the ball and scoring in close. Morris with it. He's picked up by Jones. Anderson against Turbin. And Cafford with the block. To the middle. Here's Jones. Second shot opportunity. And finished off by Gafford as he lays it in. Gafford's got eight. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. Here's Towns. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Come on, this is a big guy here, Towns. I mean, you got to foul him a lot harder than that to stop the shot. I mean, he's just too strong. Now he gets a chance to add one more at the line. Reeds checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for Anderson. And that one falls for Towns. And you can make a case and argue that Cat is perhaps one of the greatest, if not the greatest, shooting big man of all time. And he's still got a lot of runway in front of him for his career. Pass to Green. And looks like That's an green. illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. Here's Towns. He's guarded by Gafford. Shoots from the right block. It's rebounded by Dallas. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. You got to appreciate Kyrie Irving's court awareness. Outstanding. Finding open teammates. Minnesota's gone two for five from three since halftime. Edwards with it. Gafford picks him up. And Gafford with the block. And he gets it back. Morris outside. Back to Alexander Walker. Tries again. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Alexander Walker's got his third bucket of the night. For Dallas, they've gone eight of 15 in the third quarter. Pass to Gafford. Here's Lively. Outside Irving. Pure from three-point range. Irving's got 13. You gotta run Kyrie off that line. If you let him get comfortable and find his shot from behind the arc, it's a wrap. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Hardaway. And the shot's good. High percentage play. He's excellent around the rim. Dallas has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Outside Hardaway. He shoots it. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got four rebounds now. And he gets it to go. Alexander Walker's got six points in the quarter. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Pass to Gafford. Back to Green. Lively. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. And it's blocked by Irving. Excellent anticipation from Kyrie that time on the block. And he banks in the layup. 15 points in the game the unselfishness of this team. <laughs> you have the willingness to make the next pass as this defense scrambles. There's Alexander Walker. 
No good on the three. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. On the wing, Irving. Guarded by Morris. Got it. And it's a 10-point Dallas lead. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Irving against Morris. Pass to Reed. Now Towns. He's guarded by Gafford. Floats one up, and Gafford with the block. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Four on the clock. The kick out to Edwards. From behind the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. Edwards got five points now in the quarter. He's taking what he can get here. Has a three in each half. Pass to Irving. Ooh, that one makes him seven for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. You know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Here's Towns. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Good show of power that time by Towns, putting his shot up despite the foul. one at the line is good and they've done well from the free throw line this half no misses yet and that efficiency because you know so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit you got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities and so towns nails them both Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Pass to Gafford. Here's Lively. For three, Hardaway. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got five rebounds in the game. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Shoots. Hardaway, no good. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Left side, Irving. Oh, and Reed with a block. And he recovers it. Irving, that's good. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Now here's Morris. Yet to see a basket. Picks it out, Towns. Three-pointer. Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. To the inside. Gafford. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Misses the free throw. Yeah. 
He hits the second from the line. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Conley looking for an opening. Good D by Dodgers. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Hardaway, no good. And so it's Dallas earning this break in the action. Up 10. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We'll be right back with you shortly. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Glad to have you with us as we return to the action here in the Western Conference Finals. Derek Jones is out there with Washington. Then it's Luka Doncic, and it's Lively in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Reed finds Morris. Shot clock at six. Back to Reed. Pass to Conley. There's the triple. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, you can ding your confidence. That one drops for them. You're not going to get every shot off clean. McDaniels recognizes that and made the adjustment accordingly. And here's Doncic outside. He drops it from range. Doncic has got 33. He made three triples in the first half, three more since then. I tell you what, you can't shake your head at that. McDaniels passes to Morris. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Doncic with it. Pass to Jones. Washington with the ball. Blocked by Gobert. Conley against Jones. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Morris deciding where to go with it. Reed for three. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. And here's Doncic. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Mike Conley. Doncic, because he's so skilled and so savvy, he does a nice job forcing the defense into tough spots when they're guarding. Shooting two. The first one falls. Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team, including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Jones. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Edwards, he's checked in for Morris. Doncic hits them both. For Minnesota, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. 
Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Reed finds Edwards. It's tipped. And here's Doncic. Over Gobert. Doncic, no good. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Conley. Now Edwards. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got five assists in the game. Doncic passes to Lively. Here's Exum. McDaniels covering. Here's Exum. Shot clock at five. Washington outside. Takes a three. Edwards pulls it in. Edwards got seven rebounds in the game. Outside McDaniels. Up and over Doncic. Yep, it finally drops after rolling around the rim. McDaniels got four points in the quarter. Big forwards like Jaden McDaniels who can pull up for a jumper from anywhere. Those guys are a luxury to have. Doncic passes to Exum. Here's Lively. Washington up top. It doesn't go for him. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. We just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Exum. McDaniels covering. against Doncic from deep three-point range and it's Washington missing and despite a struggle scoring the ball they've done enough to build this lead back to Daniels Conley against Doncic it's Edwards on the wing over Irving deflected to Doncic. Here's Lively. Gobert against Washington. Doncic outside. To win the drought. Knocks down the long chain. Doncic has got 38 points. You know, if Luka wants the three shot, if Luka wants the three-point shot, he just takes it. No hesitation. Now Reed. Pass to Conley. Up and over Doncic. Gobert controls the rebound and the putback. This is what the team relies on Gobert for, clearing the glass and finishing the play. Dallas has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Exum. To the middle. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. It's Edwards on the wing. He's guarded by Irving. The shot by Conley. No good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Towns, he's checked in for Reed. For Dallas, they've gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling in this fourth quarter. Washington outside. Pass to Doncic. Fires high post. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Edwards has got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Conley. Here's Gobert. Lively grabs a miss. If they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. That's why they're ahead. 
to Exxon. Clock at six. Doncic feeling it out a bit. Dallas, no good that time either. Impressive closeout on a skilled shooter. That is how you defend shots from downtown. And that one's good from Conley. Look at the toughness from Conley. He's seen a lot in this league and won't go down easy. Here's Exum. McDaniels covering. Exum passes to Lively over Gobert. It's blocked by Gobert. And Edwards slams it in. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Here's Exum. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got his fourth assist with that last one. Now here's Conley. Pass to Gobert. Kick out to Conley. Outside Edwards. The three. Mavericks with the rebound. Lively's got a rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Exum. McDaniels covering. Irving for three. Drills it from deep. And it's a nine-point Maverick lead. His third triple of the game. A little success from out there in the second half. Edwards against Irving. Edwards a pass to Gobert. Gobert too strong. Gobert maintaining balance through contact. Remarkable concentration. Timeout, Dallas timeout. calls timeout. Good timeout call right there. Looked like the guys were gassed. Heavy legs out there for sure. Now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. Well, he has absolutely been ferocious in this one. Right from the opening tip, I mean, he's made his presence felt. It's been impressive watching him outwork and out hustle everybody during this game. Yeah, this is something he will remember forever. These types of performances in the playoffs are what define a player's legacy. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Thanks, guys. Jason Kidd had some words for his team over the break. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Anthony Edwards has a great body and knows how to control it. Showing you right there by taking advantage to draw the foul.
knocks down the first one. Hey, like a lot of guys, Edwards rides momentum as a player. When his confidence is soaring, so is his activity level. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. So he gets them both. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. Conley against Doncic. Washington passes to Doncic. Doncic throwing his way around. Well, you look at Luka's body, he doesn't look defined, but he's much stronger than he appears, and he showed it right there. And Minnesota calls time here. Failing to find a rhythm offensively, something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. It's Edwards with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by seven. Dives for it. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. One fifty-six left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Minnesota. We can't hit. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Pass to Edwards. A minute 22 left to play in the fourth. Fades away. We can't hit. Dallas has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. And here's Doncic outside. Kept alive. It was lively. Can't hit from in close. Minnesota's got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Conley passes to Reed. And it's in. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade, finally plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. There's Exum. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Edwards can't hit. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. He's not even been a factor. Doncic's shot is good. Doncic just got 42 in the game. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Well, Conley can be a volume score from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. Edwards against Irving. And 
So it's Dallas winning this one. And now that they're up 3-0, winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Thanks so much. I'm here with Luca, and Luca, you got a tough win tonight. What are your initial thoughts on the performance? You know, we got a win against a team that is very competitive. You know, they go hard uh, no matter what. You know, they're a great team. And, you know, I'm just glad we got a win. We got to keep going like that. Victory tastes a little sweeter against an opponent like that. Thanks, Luca. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.